is segmentation. So your, your ability to segment the two rotations that are occurring in your body uh, during the throw, right? So you have the lower body rotation that's going to be initiated early, and then you have the upper body rotation, which is trunk rotation mechanics, that's not going to be rotating until the point in which we anchor down. So uh, there's going to be a ton of context on this report in the report for you to get a, a better understanding of all this. Just, but just know briefly context. Um, we want to initiate hip rotation. Kind of, I, I've kind of, it's obviously different for everyone. You're, you're an ankle version guy. So it's going to be perceived that you're going to initiate hip rotation a little bit later. But what we don't want to happen is we don't want these two, the hips and the shoulder or the trunk essentially to move together, right? So if we looked at when that calf, your, your lead calf gets like the muscles contract. So right about there is when you're taking on force with the lead leg. So this is what I call like launching from stretch. So you can see the calves contracted and now your two rotations are moving together. So we don't stretch that band, right? We don't have that, that, that rotational energy buildup that's stored in to where then we anchor down with that front foot. We release that tension and boom, all that rotational energy gets then exposed dispersed is that the right word towards our target so right now you're falling victim of of these two rotations kind of moving together and you fall kind of victim of um a couple different breakdowns as i mentioned earlier when when one thing breaks breaks down a couple things other break down uh, the trunk starts to kind of go early all right and now the the arm's going to kind of just push its way into release rather than being pulled into release and and this is a whole component that i talk about in terms of creating arm speed arm speed is created by a, an excess amount of rotational energy so if we just look at this still shot here of Doolittle, like this is that launching from stretch right so he anchors down his trunk's neutral he's still into retraction while his hips are into rotation Okay, so when, when we're in this posture here, now we can utilize that rotational energy when we release it after we anchor down to then pull the arm through with all of this rotational energy, pull the arm through with the trunk, trunk rotation into a little bit of flexion here, pulls arm through, and you talked about the, the limited shoulder external rotation, right? So it could just be you're limited to the shoulder external rotation because you don't have a whole lot of arm speed or you're not using this rotational energy aspect to then influence a greater acceleration of the arm, okay? Because you're, like I said, the trunk goes early, so now you're kind of pushing it uh, into release, early launch, chest behind the lead knee, like you said, trail leg hip flexion, um, as well. So I dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched. If you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.